Well, let's get more uh, on this because, uh, as you say, notably absent from those talks in Geneva is the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The UN Special Envoy for Syria, Staffan Dimistura, will fly to Moscow on Tuesday and hold further talks there. Well, let's cross live to the Russian capital now to get more on this with uh, Daria Bondachuk, who uh, joins us now. So, Daria, uh, what efforts then are being made to include Aleppo in uh, the so-called regime of calm then? Do we know? Well, according to the head of Russian Reconciliation Center in uh, Syria, Sergei Korolenko, uh, there have been efforts, there have been negotiations to include Aleppo into the so-called regime of silence that has been introduced as of midnight on April 30th and has been extended until Monday uh, morning. Uh, we do not know the details yet about uh, what parties are holding these negotiations and uh, when they will uh, be the results of such negotiations will be announced uh, but Russia seems to be willing to extend uh, this uh, regime of silence as it says uh, to a greater area not just Damascus and the region and Latakia but also to Aleppo um, we know that uh, previously uh, opposition groups and the Free Syrian Army uh, have um, not agreed with this um, but excluding other parts of Syria from the so-called uh, regime of silence, uh, ex insisting that uh, the ceasefire should be implemented on all territory of Syria, uh, Russia has previously uh, said it will not uh, put pressure on Damascus to stop uh, bombardments, uh, which have continued throughout the last week. Uh, but this seems to be uh, a recent turn, uh, with these statements coming from Russian military officials uh, this Sunday. Uh, so we will see, maybe this is preparations for the next uh, round of Syria talks, as uh, some experts here say, that we'll uh, re expect it to uh, resume uh, soon in May. Okay, Daria, thank you very much.